Hi, and today I'm going to uh, give you uh, my top five favorite Jane Bond henchmen. So, um, if you don't know what a Jane Bond henchman is, Jane Bond henchman is different than the Jane Bond villain, okay? Um, so, um, uh, for example, uh, Art Job and Goldfinger. The guy in Goldfinger with the hat that for the the hat, you know, you know, the icon one of the icon thing and Jane Bond movie, you know, and Goldfinger with the guy that pulled the hat and cut the statue head off. He's a henchman. But he's not the main villain. Uh Goldfinger the one that said uh when well, Jane Bond goes, uh, do you expect me to talk? And then Goldfinger goes, No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. That uh, uh, is the main villain, and the guy that pulled the hat and Goldfinger, he would be uh, he would be um, a henchman, okay, like a side villain, uh, a strong, a strong uh, a, a villain, a strong sidekick. A henchman is like a sidekick to the main villain, okay. Uh, another one would be uh, the guy uh, that had metal teeth. Uh, and the Father Who Loved Me and Moonwaker. They go around biting people. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but, but you want to classify them as, a uh, villain, main villain. Okay. You classify them as, uh, henchmen. Okay. Uh, even, even some of the, even some of the bad women, uh, you, you might even classify them as henchmen. Henchman too, okay. So uh, I will do a separate. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, a separate list for my favorite uh, Jane Bond villain, and those are the main vi main villain that he fight, and those are the the main villain of the movie. But these but these are my favorite Jane Bond henchmen. Okay. So let me know in the comment section below. Uh. Uh. What's your favorite Jane Bond uh, henchman in the in the entire Jane Bond uh, um, uh, Jane Bond franchise? And I have five of them. So I'll, give you, I'll go from five to one. And um, I have one honorable mention. Um, so um, so if you think all the uh, all twenty all twenty five Jane Bond movies, and if you think twenty set with the Never Say Never Again. And let me know in the comment section below um, what your what your favorite Jane Bond henchman or your top five favorite Jane Bond henchman or top ten favorite Jane Bond henchman. For me, I have top, I have five favorite Jane Bond henchmen and with one honorable mention. Okay, so with that being said, let me uh, start with with the honorable mention and why it didn't quite make the list. And that would be Robert Shaw and Red Grant. Uh, Robert Shaw and Red Grant, he's a henchman, um, and you know, we think Robert Shaw and, uh, and John funny, uh, but, uh, but getting back to Robert Shaw and Red Grant and, uh, and, uh, for much of a love, uh, um, I really want more screen time of him. Uh, I like all the stuff. I like I like all the stuff with him on uh, in the train when he calling a uh, uh, Jane Bond old man and they fight. It was good, but I wanted more more screen time on him. More screen time on him. Okay, he was one of those. He was one of those uh, henchmen where I, I wanted more screen time. That's why he didn't quite make my uh, list. Okay, and my top five list, but he didn't know the mission. Okay, so I do like, I do like, uh, I do like all the, uh, all the stuff with him on the, uh, uh, in the train, with him and Jane Bond. Um, so, number five is Elda Deppa and Emma Bunt. Okay. Um, and, um, this is, 
I blame the the, the girl from um, from on her mattress stick her seven. Um she she like the girl from she like tied to uh um uh, um uh, she she the one that killed um she she the one that killed um Tracy Bond at the end and then drive by shooting. Um she helped uh Brofell do all the bad things, brainwash the girl up in the mountain. Really good. Wanna bet bon, uh game bond henchman or henchwoman, whatever you wanna call it. Fantastic. And nobody really talk about it that much. Uh she good. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, number four. Somebody name a hard pronounce. So, I'm doing my best to pronounce the name. Lutina. Haluti, Hulapi, and Bologna, Bologna. Uh, and basically, all you can say is for this, for this, if, if, if you have a hard time pronouncing the name, uh, most people will, will recognize this name or just say the redhead girl from, uh, the redhead woman from Thunderball. And man, was she so beautiful. Okay? Uh, she was evil, and gorgeous, and sexy, and beautiful, and she was so bad, and she gave Game Bond the, uh, the run for her money. The run for her money, I, I, I should say. The run for her, her money. Okay? Um, I like it when she was on screen, killing people. I like it when Game Bond was limping. And she said, go get him, go get him. And then they dance for like a minute, like, like a few seconds before uh, somebody come out behind and try to shoot Game Bond. Game Bond used her, used her at the human shield. That was hilarious and funny. Uh, so, so she did, uh, she did one of the best henchmen or henchwoman in the Game Bond uh, franchise in my opinion and one of my favorites. Uh, uh, at, at, every time she's on screen, she definitely entertained, entertainment, and awesome. Okay, number number um three is Harold Takuta. Hope I pronounce your name right. At our job from Goldfinger. Uh, he don't really say anything. The only time he, the only thing, the only word he ever said in the movie was, ah! when, when, uh, uh, Jane Bond shot them. When he cut, when he tried to get his hat, and Jane Bond put the left thing and, and shot them, he goes, ah! That's the only thing he said is when he yelled. Uh, uh, in the movie, he, he, uh, pulled the hat and cut that your head off. Uh, they bond get back get back go finger the golf ball and art job crush crush the uh golf ball out job crush the golf ball um so our job is iconic and um and one of my favorite okay uh so I'm like I'm like, what, what is that hat made out of? That hat is something like you would see, you, you would see in like, you know, I'm like, how powerful that hat? Is it like, is it like made out of metal or something? Or, or is it like made out of antimanium? Like Captain American shield or something, metal? I don't know, but he is fantastic. And, and every time he done green, awesome. Okay, number four, 
Number number two. Um, if Ben comes down there and Junior on top, and um, uh, I think this is Ben comes down there and best role. She's not in that main movie. Um, I would like I would like for her to have a big a uh, uh, career. The only other thing I know her in, in my opinion, after this was the X Men franchise. But I think uh, her and Virginia as Virginia on the top better than what she in the X Men. She still did a good job in the X Men movie, and I would like her to come back. Her and who Jackman and some of the other X Men characters. But uh. But then comes the other thing that's on top, in my opinion, in my favorite, and from the uh, from the uh, uh, Golden Eye movie, along with Jane Bond, played by Pierre Bronson, and I think she like the highlight of the movie. Most people say, most people say it's Sean Bean and Double Dead, but I'm like all in my opinion, all my favorite memorable thing. It either with Jane, it either Jane Bond thing or on top thing. Gina on top thing. I think that I can't breathe. Or or uh, no more football. So <laughs> like yeah. Or or the jungle thing with uh, Gina on top and Jane Bond. She always did a good, doing a good squeeze. I'm like yeah. So uh. To me, to me, uh, when I think of when I think of Golden Eye, I don't think of uh, Double Dead. I think of Bond and Dina on the top, and the famous uh, Tank Chain. Okay, be honest. I would like this movie to have more Dina on the top, to, uh, killing people, doing that uh, between her thighs. Okay, uh, yeah. Be honest, I can't get enough of Dina on the top. To me, she, she uh, in my opinion, she's not a Bond girl. She's a, uh, a Bond, Dane Bond, hench woman. She's a villain. Okay? The other girl right here, uh, uh, Natalia, is a Bond girl. Okay? That's in my opinion. Okay, so I can't get enough of Virginia on the top, but she's one of my favorite uh, henchwomen, and she was so beautiful, and man, uh, I love Virginia on the top, so beautiful. Okay, uh, number one, my most favorite, my most favorite uh, Jane Bond henchman of all time, throughout the Jane Bond franchise, and Richard Kill as Jar. I just love, I just love the dynamic between uh, Roger Moore and Dane Bond with Richard Kill as Jar. He just dropped in for a bite. Down you go. It's hilarious. And also, I like Jaws in the. Also, like Jaws in the Moonraker. Okay. Uh, so I like, I like, I like the fight scene, the fight scene between Jane Bond and Jaws in both of these movies, the Five Who Love Me and Moonraker. Okay. To me, uh, Jaws, um, uh, and one of the henchmen, I couldn't get enough of. Just like I can't get enough of Dean and Anatol, I couldn't get enough of. Uh, of uh, Art John and uh, but John, it always it always uh, my favorite henchman. And John, the one known henchman where I believe it outshine the main villain of the uh, movie, it, uh, even better than the villain. Uh, you know, the villain of the movie, uh, John Bird, and I'm like, and I'm like, uh. Who the villain in the fire who loved me? 
Remember? Nah, nah, uh, John the more iconic than John Bird. Who, who, lay down the road, who people gonna, more, going to remember more? John Bird or John? John, yeah. John is iconic with the metal key. So, uh, so, that's my, that's my, uh, top five favorite Dane Bond, um, henchmen. And, uh, let me know your, your top five favorite Game Bond henchmen. And I will be doing a, a video or be, giving you my top five favorite, uh, Game Bond, uh, villain. And let me know your, your favorite, uh, Game Bond henchmen in the comment down below. And use my channel. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.